electronic students today i am going to share a video for the student of class 3 the chapter is looking back or revision this is the first chapter of class 3 and this my video is specially dedicated to the little ones who are due to corona not able to attend the regular classes so let us start the first topic looking back in this topic we will learn the different ways of representation of a number so let us take the first topic different ways of representing a number topic first different ways of representing representing a number so let us discuss different ways of representing a number let us suppose if we have given a number 579 then how many different ways of representing this number 579 how we will read out this number so we will start from right hand side this is ones this is tens and this is 100 so the digit at the place of ones is 9 the digit at the place of tens is 7 and the digit at the place of 100 is 5 so this is 579 now there are total four different ways of the representing of this number so the first form is abacus form abacus form so we will learn about the abacus what is the abacus and how we will represent a number on a abacus so in abacus what we have to do let us put this is the first strip for the digit ones then this is the strip to represent the digit at tens and let us put this strip is representation for the digit at hundreds now see in the given number the ones digit is 9 so in first strip we will make 9 bits this is the first then second then third then fourth then fifth then sixth then seventh then eighth and then ninth so there are 9 bits in the first strip that is at the place of ones and the digit at tens is 7 so in this strip we will make 7 bits so let us suppose first second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh and now the digit at 100 place is 5 so in this strip we will make 5 bits first second third fourth and fifth so this is the ones this is the tens and this is the 100 at the place of ones there are 9 bits at the place of tens there are 7 bits and at the place of 100 we will make 5 bits so in abacus form if the digit having three number that is ones tens and hundred if the given number is of the four digit 
then we will make one more strips and as per the situation we will make the bits so to represent any given number in abacus form this time we will make the abacus for the ones then tens then 100 first you have to make the strips and in this strip you have to make the bits as per the digits so this is the first form then the second form is standard form so in standard form what we have to do we have to write the given number in numeral form so this form is also known as standard form or numeral numeral form so in standard form or numeral form we have to write the given number in digits so the given number is 579 this is called standard form or numerals form then the third form is word form so in word form the given number is 579 so 500 79 79 in this way we will write the given number in word form then the last fourth form is expanded form expanded form so in expanded form first of all whatever the number is given we will write the place value of every digit so here the given number is 579 so the place value of the digit at once is the place at once is 9 so 9 will be multiplied by 1 so the place value of the digit at once is 9 now the place value of the digit at tens is 7 into 10 so that is 70 then the place value of the digit at 100 is 5 so it will be multiplied by 100 so this is 500 so whatever the given number first of all we have to see what is the digit at once here the digit at once is 9 then the digit at tens is 7 and then the digit at 100 is 5 so the place value of the digit at once whatever the digit at once it will be multiplied by 1 so 9 into 1 it is equals to 9 so the place value of the digit at once that is the place value of 9 is 9 now the place value of the digit at tens is 7 so 7 will be multiplied by 10 for the place value so its place value will be 70 Similarly, the digit at 100 place is 5. So, its place value will be 5 into 100. So, 500. So, now, if we have to write any given number in the expanded form, then first we will find the place value of each digit. That is, the place value of 9 is 9. The place value of 7 is 70. The place value of 5 is 500. Now, we will write these number in addition form so 500 plus 70 plus 9 so this is the expanded form of the given number so the different ways of representing a number whenever we have given any number in four different way we can represent the given number the first form is abacus form so whenever the given number is 579 to represent in abacus form this is the abacus form then second one is standard form or numeral form in standard form or numeral form we have to write the given number in number form so that is 579 then the next one is word form whatever the given number we have to count from ones ones tens and hundred so this is 579 so in word form we will write 579 so this is the word form and third form of the representation of this given number and the last fourth is expanded form to write the expanded form of any given number 
first of all we will write the place value of each digit and then we will write in addition form so this is the different form of a given of number so this is the first topic now next one now we will uh, discuss some uh, questions that is revenge exercise so the first question is exercise self practice one self practice self practice first first question is fill in the blanks we have given uh, some numbers in this form the first question is question number one this is called numeration and their notation the question is based on numeration and notation so in first we have given one slave is given and the slave is divided into 10 into 10 so one slave is having 100 places and such 8 slaves are given so first one is 800 5 tens and 1 ones 1 1 now if any number is written in this form 800 5 tens and 1 1 then we have to write first what will be the numeral form of this number so 800 plus 5 tens means 5 into 10 plus 1 so it will be equals to 851 so this 851 is known as numeral numeral form or standard form we can say so standard form or numeral numeral form then second we have to write the same number which is re written in standard form 851 or numeral form now if, if we have to write this number in word form then word form will be equals to 851 51 now let us take second question second question is 100 6 tens 3 ones this is the question question is 100 6 tens and 3 ones now what we have to do we have to write this form first in standard form then we have to write in word form so 100 means 100 plus 6 tens means 6 into 10 plus 3 ones means plus 3 so it is equals to 163 this 163 is known as standard form standard form or numeral numeral form or simply we can write in numeral also now in word how we will write 100 63 in word form 100 163 s i x t y t h r w 63 then question number third means third part of the question number first that is c c part 500 7 tens 
फोर वन सो इन न्यूमरल फॉर्म फाइव हंड्रेड मीन्स फाइव इंटू हंड्रेड सेवन टेन्स मीन्स सेवन इंटू टेन प्लस फोर वन मीन्स फोर इंटू वन सो इट विल बी इक्वल्स टू फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस सेवेंटी प्लस फोर सो दिस इज द एक्सपांडेड फॉर्म इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म इट विल बी इक्वल्स टू फाइव हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फोर so this is the standard form standard form or numeral then next in word form how we will write in word form this 574 so 5 hundred 70 Four. This is the word form. Then the last question, question number D. <coughs> D is nine hundred nine hundreds nine tens nine ones. so in expanded form 900 means 9 into 100 that is 900 9 tens means 9 into 10 plus 9 ones means 9 into 1 so the real expanded form will be 900 plus 90 plus 9 so standard form will be 999 this is this one is expanded form and this one is standard form standard form or numeral so see this one is expanded form then 999 in joint form this is called standard form or numeral now we have to write in word form so word form is 900 Ninety nine, ninety nine. This is nine hundred ninety nine. So this was the question number first. Now let us discuss the question number second. Question number second is represent the following numbers on abacus. Question number second. first question we have given the digit at ones tens and hundred are 419 this is number is 419 and this is called standard form or numeral form now we have to represent this number on abacus so what we will do In the given number, there are three digit. One is nine, ten is one, and hundred is four. So we will make three strip: first, second, and third. This one is four ones. This is four tens, and this is four hundred place digit. Now, what is the ones? Ones is nine. So make nine bits in first strip. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and nine. Now, what is the digit at tens? Tens is digit one, so make only one bits. Then digit at the hundreds is four, so again you have to make four bits. One, two, three, and four. So this is the representation of given number four hundred nineteen on abacus. Now second part is that is B. B is given nine hundred eighty. So again, the given number having three digit, ones, then tens and hundred. At the ones place, the digit is zero. So there will be only blank strip that is of ones, then tens. At the place of ten, the digit is eight. So we will make eight bits. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
now the digit 800 place is 9 so in this strip you have to make 9 bits so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 this is the ones this is for tens and this is for hundred so this one is the representation of 980 on abacus now one more question that is 9896 so one's place is 6 so draw a straight line that is first strip and make 6 beads so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 then at the digit at tens is 9 so make 9 beads 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now the digit at 100 place is 8 so make again 8 beads 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 thus this one is the digit at ones then tens and then hundreds so this is the question number c of first part then last one is d the last question of question number second now digit at ones is 7 tens is also 7 and hundred is also 7 so we have to represent 779 on abacus so make three strips first second third this is for ones this is for tens and this is for hundred now for every digit we have to make seven beats so one two three four five six seven digit at tens is also seven so make nine beats one two three four five six and seven then at hundred is also seven so one two three four five six and seven so this is the question number second in this question four part were there in standard form the given number was 419, 980, 896 and 777 and in this way you can represent the given number in abacus form. Now question number third, the abacus form is given and we have to find the standard form through the abacus form. So the first question, read the question very carefully. Question number third is count the beads on each spike of the abacus and write the numbers in standard form, word form and expanded form. So first one is question number three. A in abacus what we have given, one abacus is given. And ones, tens, and hundred. The beads are in first strip. There are four beads, so make four beads. In second also four. So these are the four, and at hundred are two. So the number will be <coughs> first standard form. Standard form. The standard form will be digit at once will be 4 at tens will be also 4 and 100 at the 100 is 2 so 244 now in word form how we will write 244 then in expanded form How we will write in expanded form? The place value at once is 4. The place value at tens is 40. And the place value at 100 place is 200. So 200 plus 40 plus 4. So if abacus form is given, then by simple observation, first we have to write in standard form. Now standard form is 244. 
So 244 in word form, how we will write? 244. Then we have to write in expanded form. So to write in expanded form, from the standard form, first we will write the place value of each digit. So the place value of ones, place digit is 4. So 4 into 1, that is 4. Again, the place value at the digit at tens is also 4. So 4 into 10, that will be 40. And the place value at 100 place digit will be 2 into 100, that is 200. So in this way, we can do the remaining question of question number third.